You too. What do they do? It is your boy. Low key. No one look at you. Do what I'm saying. We're coming back at y'all with another. Anyways, we getting straight to it. As y'all can see by the title, today is my eighth month lock journey with two strand twists. Yes, you know what I'm saying? We're going eight months deep in this lock journey. You know what I'm saying? This is what the results looking like. Do a quick little 360. Oh, the lighting's horrible from this side. But yeah, this is eight months in. Um, from seven to eight months, to me, I feel like there's not like a major change as far as length, but one thing I will say is from these past um, last retwists or, you know, my hair growing ever since like month three or four, I've noticed that my hair has been growing like, you know, like a lot of volume, as you can see, like my hair just doesn't lay as flat as it used to, which I kind of like it because, you know what I'm saying, when I started off with this hair journey, I didn't know... Like, I knew I wanted to start with dress, you know what I'm saying? I knew I wanted to start with dress. I didn't know what method I was going to start with. I was thinking about doing freeforms. And if you guys have actually checked my channel, or you could actually look back and I think I saw the video. I was trying to do a semi-freeform, you know, like a freeform journey. That's what I was first going to start off with. You know, me just twisting my hair, sponging it, letting it grow out like that, and just seeing where it tasted. me. I kept that in for like three weeks. Had to wash it. I didn't want to wash it, you know what I'm saying? I was going to keep it for a month, a little over a month, and then maybe wash it, but I had to. And it wasn't all the way because I felt like I needed to wash it, even though I did need to wash it. Like, my hair was feeling oily, like my scalp, like, it just felt like I needed to wash it out. But I had to go to a friend's party, and I don't know, I just felt like I needed to wash it because with me twisting my hair, like, continuously, my hair was going through, like, mad shrinkage. I washed it. <laughs> All the twists came out, so I was, you know, I was just with natural hair. After I had the natural hair, you know, I tried some box braids. My box braids getting a little bit longer. Made a little, you know, box braid tutorial on, on the channel. And then I decided to do two strand twists because before I did do two strand twists, they were still short, but they were completely awkward. I'm talking about to the point where I couldn't even go out in public with it. And from that point, I was just like, man, let me start my lock journey. So, you know, this is where we at. I'm loving my hair at this point, you know what I'm saying? My hair just shakes so easily now, like, I don't know. It's probably because the roots are still kind of skinny, because even though I know it looks like I'm free-forming, like, I don't know. I sort of kind of have a root twist, sort of. I don't know. It's not, it's not, it's not new anymore, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a week too old. If I posted the retwist video, because, you know, by the time I'm gonna have this video, whenever it comes out. Hopefully I can put it out before April hits because you know it's month eight. But yeah, this is how we looking like. I started off my hair with the two strand twist method and I've just, you know, I've just been keeping it for the past eight months. I've been retwisting my hair using the clips, the double prong clips. Hold on. The, hold up. Oh, I gotta use those right now. Annie's double prong clips. I got 80. I would suggest if you guys want your hair just like me, I would suggest actually getting like 100 because I could retwist it using all of them or even less than them, but I'd be putting like three strands in a retwist. But I feel like a, an effective retwist is to actually clip them like each individual strand because I don't know, just something about when you bunch up the strands into one clip, like I feel like it doesn't stretch as much as it needs to. That's just me. But yeah, this is my hair at um, you know what I'm saying, eight months. It's getting much longer. And yeah, look, hold on. Hair is locking up much better as y'all can see. Like, look at this. This is a dread. This look like it's not fully locked, it's not fully harder, but this is a dread, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dreads in like the, the front parts of my hair, you feel me? Cause like I said, I started with two strand twists. And y'all could see it, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could go back and look at my, you know, my one month lock journey video when I was just like talking about that. But yeah, this state, you know what I'm saying? Month eight, I really like this because this month right here, because seven months my hair was looking similar to this. But this month, you know, my hair really does feel like dreads now. Like they feel like the earlier stages of dreads. I feel like I'm still in the budding phase, but 
these are basically like baby locks. I feel like I'm transitioning into the teenage stage, which is great because the teenage stage that's leading into mature locks. Like I say, these are they're still kind of baby locks, but they're working this way into being teenage locks when they're just you know like the full strand is just like a dread. Because boy, when I tell you, man, when it comes to retwisting and making your hair turn into dreads. It's a process, it is a long process. Like as y'all can see, my hair is literally starting to dread up now completely. You know what I'm saying? You guys have been seeing the, pro the process. And sometimes I look at it, I just be thinking like, damn, like my hair is short. But honestly, bro, like I was looking back at some pictures. Like this is why, like if you starting off your hair journey with dreads, take pictures. I'm telling you, you gonna need to take some pictures. Because sometimes, you know, in the beginning stage, you're not going to be thinking that your hair growing like that. When you look back at the picture, you just be like, damn, my hair used to be that short? That short? You feel me? Because, like, my hair started off so short. I didn't, My hair was at a state where I couldn't even have this type of volume. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, it's crazy. I started back in July, and my hair wasn't even my hair wasn't even like reaching over my tape and as y'all can see how it's hanging um look, hold up i got like these first layer strands the second layer you see this is like the second layer they starting to reach over the tape too so like my hair is really getting longer now it's starting to get some hang time and i think my hair is really getting like that pretty boy fredo look right now if i do say so myself you know similar but you know it's my hair at the end of the day but yeah i've been thinking because I usually have been doing my retwist every month to two months, and there's nothing wrong with that, to be honest. I'm going to make a video when you should do your retwist. But I feel as though I'm going to extend my retwist time. I know I said that in the beginning before, I thought I had this event I had to go to, that's why I ended up retwisting my hair, which may or may, it made a difference as far as like, now my hair feels like, like they look like dreads, you know what I'm saying? Like, like only if y'all can see like, these junks are some dreads, my guy. Some of them are like a little undeveloped, you know what I'm saying? Cause like, there are some loose strands that I try to turn into dreads as well. A lot of them are frizzy, but the hair is dreading up for the most part. I'm thinking about semi-freeforming. If you guys don't know what semi-freeforming is, I have a video on that. But what I'm gonna do as far as semi-freeform is, I'm going to get retwist, but I'm going to do like a three to five month, you know, time span without, you know, getting a retwist. Honestly, when I get a retwist, in most cases, my hair usually tends to lay flat. And I'm not gonna lie, my hair just has this way of just puffing up within like a week or two after a retwist. And honestly, I like this look. Like this look like really works for me. So that's why I kind of feel like I should just freeform it because it just looks like that anyways. And you know, just like for example, like other people like, Damani Harris, I'm assuming, you know, T.I. son, I'm assuming he freeforms. Jaden Smith freeformed his dreads. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people freeform their dreads and it comes to show that retwisting your hair doesn't really make sure that your hair is gonna lock. It does keep your hair stable, cause you know what I'm saying? If you want like a uniform and you want your hair to come in a certain way, retwisting is good cause it allows your hair to keep growing in that same section. That's like, you know, the whole point of retwist. When you're free forming, your hair could just go whatever way it wants to go. Unless you do a little bit of maintenance, but for the most part, yeah. But yeah, I'm thinking like, I'm probably going semi free form, free form. I mean, let me know. What do y'all think? Y'all think I should start free forming? Let me know down in the comments below. Because in the beginning, like I was saying, like I was thinking about free forming my hair in the beginning. I think, what was that, like June, July? I was gonna freeform my hair because I didn't know what method I was gonna start with. At first, I was gonna start with the freeform method because I just thought like that freeform look was cool. But at the same time, the reason why I was iffy about starting with freeforms, because freeforms is probably one of the easier ways to start your dreads and you don't need to waste your money or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Little to no maintenance. But the reason why I was iffy on two shirts, I mean, why I was iffy on starting with freeforms because most people who have free forms, you know, in the earlier stages, you have an afro, you get that spiky afro look. That's cool. But I feel like when, when the hair is all uppity, like, because you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not in high school no more. I feel like that look could have worked for me perfectly in high school. But I just feel like that whole fro spiky, like, like all the way sticking up. I just feel like that, that look will, like, work for me. But I just feel like 
rocks. No, I don't know if I'm rocking with it as much, you know what I'm saying? I like my hair to really like hang more, but I kind of would like it to, you know, like pop out a little, like you know, like in the earlier stages, you know what I'm saying? Like how my hair is now. That's the reason why I started with short hair too, because these kind of stages, like your hair, like if you wanted your hair like mine, I'm gonna tell you for sure, you're gonna have to start with your hair at a low stage. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you could really actually start with the same length that I have right now. This is the length I should have started with, but I, I'm not really mad that I started with a short length. I mean, it'll make me actually appreciate my dreads even more. That's why I kind of appreciate the fact that I started with this length. But yeah, this is, this is eight months, man. It's crazy. But yeah, like I was saying, cause like I was gonna start free forming Cause I knew I was gonna either do free form or two strand twist, but I'm like, mm, I could do free form, but I want my joints to hang, and it takes a while for your head to hang when you start free forming. But at the same time, I like the two strand twist because you know the two strand twist it gives off a very natural aesthetic, very neat aesthetic. You know what I'm saying? And plus, that was like my favorite hairstyle when I was like braiding my hair and stuff like that. So. Of course, I had a feeling I was going to do two strand twists. Finger coils, I was completely unsure, but I know that's like the guaranteed way to get dreads, but I'm like, am I really going to spend $60 every month or every three months just to maintain my hair? Like, come on now. And I feel like an important thing, because I self retwist my hair, you know what I'm saying? I have yet to go into a lot of tissue. That's probably why my dreads are so different than like everyone else, and people probably think that they're like free form. I don't know. Because, I don't know, most people who start with a two strand twist method is like, the hair really come out like this? I don't know. But, I'm really not even mad that I started my dreads myself. Because, honestly, if I went to a lotician, I don't even think my dreads would even come out the way they are. And they're not even fully matured, though. Like, just imagine, like, five months from now, like, how my hair is going to be looking like when I get, like, more hang time. And, you know, it's going to take a while to, like, all the hair just, like, fully lays down, like... I'm talking about probably like seven months from now. Like my hair could probably still have that tendency to like stick up. I don't know. But honestly, I like my hair. It's gaining much more volume. It's like, it's short, but it's getting to that like short, medium type of length. Like a like basically the length that I wanted it to be in the first part. So yeah, like this, this is how the hair is looking like. It's eight months. If y'all seen my retwist video, my hair was reaching my eyebrows. They're still close to it. They, they still are pretty close to it. But the thing is, sometimes when you get a retwist, your hair gonna look long for that little, for that little while. But your hair is gonna shrink up. It's it's like a weird process. The fact that I've been retwisting, I know it's just weird. It's like when you retwist your hair, your hair is gonna look so long in that given moment. Maybe even a couple of days after, it's gonna look even longer. A week later, that junk gonna start shrinking up. If you have like a bunch of dreads like mine, like your hair gonna start puffing up, which is gonna kind of make it look cool, kind of give it like a little freeform look if you start with short hair. But then like, you know, you gonna feel like your hair is shrinking, like you gonna keep waiting, you gonna be like, damn, like my hair getting short. Then like a month later, your hair just gonna magically just start looking longer again, like you gonna notice it. Cause that's the thing I was saying with freeform is just that my hair gradually grows. Like, I don't even think I, like, at this point, I don't think I need a retwist based on how my hair has, based on the processes I've gone through and stuff, I really don't even think I need a retwist. My dress could really just grow from this point forward, especially if I want to get them thicker. Now, I know last time I said I was going to wait four months and I folded and I got the retwist, but this time I'm really going to wait four months. It is March. I'm not going to get a retwist till July, my one year mark. I'm probably going to hit up a loctician for the first time ever. And we're going to see how that goes. But I'm not going to lie. I'm afraid to go to a loctician. No cap. Because, like, I like the way my hair is growing. And the way I retwist it is going to grow out this way, like, no matter what. But if I go to a loctician, I just feel like all my hair is going to lay flat. Like, it's going to look weird. My dress is going to look skinny. I don't know. That, that's that's the reason why like I don't really know about going to a lotician. But it's not a bad thing to go to a lotician. I'm just saying that because like, I take care of my hair. I know exactly. Like I had a vision on how I wanted my hair to look. Even from the earlier stages. It was like little things I did while my hair was short. Is the reason why my hair is like the way it is right now. You got to like build the foundation. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is eight months in. Dang, I keep, I keep like switching topics. I don't even think I fully talked about the whole free frame thing. But yeah, like I was trying to say, I was going to start with the freeform method, you know, twisting my hair, sponging and everything. 
And then I switched to Too Sure and Twist because Too Sure and Twist will still give you a nice aesthetic. When your hair grows throughout the locking process, your hair is gonna look natural for the most part. And then it's gonna, well, eventually it's gonna start looking nice and some juicy dreads. And yeah, that's really what it's gonna be. I'm glad I chose the Too Sure and Twist method because like I got the best of both worlds. Like I got the Too Sure and Twist locks that naturally turn into dreads. Sometimes my hair look like free forms. So even though I didn't take the freeform route, I still kind of got the look. And I don't have a super spiky freeform. I got like a mid hanging down, kind of sticking up type of freeform look. So honestly, I mess with it. But hey, man, this is the end of my eighth month update. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys have made it this far into the video, I'm going to need you to smash that like button. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You know what I'm saying? Join the low-key squad. And don't forget to click the bell. Don't be dumb as hell. Turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single video. What? <laughs> hey, man, but I'm just playing with you. But anyways, if you made it this far to the channel, you know what I'm saying? Like I already said, you know, subscribe to the Low Key Squad, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm going to sign the video off right here. So, it is your boy, Low no, I look at you, dig what I'm saying? Yeah. You come back with more hair boots. You dig. You dig, 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 dig. Let's get it. Settle for less, they try to spot me up Hand me another cup, but I don't give a fuck I know Ben's run it up